Hello everyone, uh, welcome to write this nice algebraic expression into the simplified form. So here uh, we solve or we write this into the simplified form by using the two method. Uh, so here we start with the first method and I hope so you like both of these methods. Okay, so in the first method here you see that we have 5555 squared minus 4400 and uh, 50 44 squared so here we easily use this nice square identity you know that if we have a squared minus b squared it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so now in first method we uh, uh, solve we write this into the with the help of this nice algebraic expression so that uh, our above equation is written as because uh, this number is uh, uh, denoted as a and this number is denoted by b so this will become a squared minus b squared and it will be written as 5555 minus 4444 into 5555 plus 4444 so here you remember one thing is that a calculator is not allowed in this question uh, we solve this uh, question without using the calculator uh, so that here when you subtract this uh, this number by this number then uh, you get here 1111 and this is multiplied by uh, when you add these two numbers then you will get here 9999 so uh, after this step uh, here uh, we uh, just write uh, this expression as in this form so here first you focus on this number and we write it as uh, 1111 is multiplied by 1111 multiplied by 9 so when you multiply this number by 9 then you get this number okay so here uh, when we multiply this number by this number it will be written as uh, 1111 squared and here you have 9 we write it as 3 squared okay so now uh, you see here uh, we have uh, both of these numbers are squared form so we combine these two numbers and we write it as 1111 11 is multiplied by 3 and its whole squared okay so uh, after this step you see here when you multiply these two numbers then you get 3333 whole squared okay so uh, after that uh, you can easily uh, multiply these two numbers with the traditional multiplication method so now if I can do this uh, without the calculator then you can uh, see here if we multiply 3333 by 3333 it will be written as 3999 and 9 and when we multiply this three number then again you get 4 times of 9 similarly we multiply this number then again you get 4 times of 9 and if we again multiply this number then you get again get here four times of nine so now when uh, you add all of these uh, numbers then yeah i think so uh, this is uh, the trivial addition method or multiplication method you can do this in uh, into the primary classes uh, so here you easily get the sum of all of these numbers are triple one zero triple eight and nine okay so that uh, uh, we can write our answer into this form or uh, into this form so that our simplified answer is triple one zero and triple eight nine okay so this is the our simplified answer in this question uh, so this is the our first method and now we move towards our second method so that uh, uh, in method number two here uh, first we copy down the given question statement it is uh, 5555 minus 4444 squared so now in second method uh, here first 
uh, we break this base and this base as well you see here this is 5555 so we write it as 5 is multiplied by 1111 and its whole squared similarly we write this number as 4 is multiplied by 1100 and 11 and it's a whole squared okay so after this step here uh, we need uh, first to uh, separate this square on both of these terms and it is written as 5 squared is multiplied by 1100 and 11 squared minus 4 squared is multiplied by 1100 and 11 and it's whole squared and now after this step uh, you see here uh, clearly we have this term is common on both of these terms uh, so that now here we take common 1111 squared and the remaining terms are here we get 5 squared minus here we get 4 squared okay so in the next step uh, you see here uh, this will be written as 1111 squared into uh, we know that 25 squared be, uh, 5 squared becomes 25 minus 4 squared becomes here 16 and uh, now we uh, subtract 25 minus 16 uh, and clearly you will see here uh, we will obtain 1111 squared into this will becomes here 9 okay so uh, now uh, we write over this 9 as in this form 1111 is multiplied by 3 squared okay so this number is also half squared so now you see here both of these numbers are in squared form so that we combine these two numbers and we write it as in this form 1111 is multiplied by 3 and its whole squared. So now when you multiply 1111 by 3 then you will easily get here 3333 and its whole squared. So now uh, in the first part, I will uh, just do the, this product uh, with the traditional method so that now we can easily say that this squared form is equals to uh, uh, 3 times of 1 into 0, 3 times of 8 and 9. So this is the our uh, final simplified answer of this question. And this is final answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.